Wade Wilson was a loving, caring, and funny man. But then, tragedy struck him when he got cancer. But this tragedy will not stop Wade and Vanessa from loving each other. Ryan Reynolds and Marina Baccarin in the romantic movie of the year. Deadpool! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so hi, welcome to Un Unscripted. This is Tyler from End Credit Reviews. And Steven from Steven Lawson Studios. And today we got the romantic movie hit of the year, Deadpool. That's right, Deadpool, the one show you should take all your sweethearts to this Valentine's Day season. I know, if your girlfriend wants to go see Deadpool on, we on, the, you know, on, va on Valentine's Day weekend, which, you know, by the time this video comes out, it's already going to be past that, she's marriage material. I'm just going to say that right now. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I don't want to be one of those boyfriends where the girlfriend's like, I want to see how to be single over the weekend. And the boyfriend's going to be like, yeah, you're about to learn how to be single pretty soon. Get wrecked. I know. So, I mean, this movie has probably the biggest opening weekend, one of the biggest opening weekends to any comic book movie. It was like about $200 million worldwide. Yeah, there was a picture. I think it said like $134 million or something though, like a couple days ago. But in any case, um, it was showing, you know, Batman Begins uh, starting off at about $48 million opening weekend. And all these DC and Marvel movies, um, you know, Iron Man, I think, was $98 million or something. But then it shows Deadpool relaxing in front of a fireplace at $134 million at the top. And that yeah, no, is quite we, a statement. Yeah, when we went to the screening, it was like on Friday night. It was like the one of the later showings. The theater was packed. It was. It was, you know, a concentration camp in there concentrating <laughs> on the movie concentration of really good worth you know worth your time yes absolutely i, I admit um it, it would have been nice if i guess there were more theaters showing it so we could have been a little more divided and had more room um, yeah true because we had friends that we were uh, trying to see it with and one of them unfortunately sorry brian had to you know kind of sit down uh towards the front because there were just so many people we'll just send them the review so i guess before we start talking about the movie i think we should probably give a little backstory i mean i've kind of played the deadpool video game but i guess the backstory to deadpool is that he was kind of a ripoff character of another dc comic book character named deathstroke but deathstroke's real name was wait was like slade wilson and you know deadpool's real name is wade wilson so right. get it so I guess apparently they, he was kind of more of a serious character, but later to kind of differ him from Deathstroke, they made him more of a comedic character. And he's gradually grown more and more popular throughout time. So Deadpool, the movie is about our main character, Wade Wilson, played by Ryan Reynolds, gets cancer in pretty much a lot of areas. And he's he hears, here's a program they can get into that can of cure his cancer. But little does he know he's actually going to be experimented on by a bunch of these people who are trying to turn him to like a mindless soldier and he escapes he pretty much gets like an incredible healing factor like wolverine except he looks like a fried potato that was molested by freddy krueger absolutely he looks as said in the commercial uh like uh fred or no freddy in op no there's stuff about <laughs> avocados and freddy krueger having sex with a topographical map of Utah. Well, actually, it's kind of a mixture of, like, both ones, but okay. And so then, pretty much, he's trying to figure out the guy who did wrong to him named Ajax, played by Ed Shricken, the aka kill the shade evil British guy. And that's why you're seeing all the Ajax soap memes right now on Facebook. Oh, yeah. For people who are a little curious about that. Yeah, what he was like at one point in the climax, he's like, "Say my name," and Deadpool's like, "Do you want me? Do you want me to spell it out for you?" And he literally does in corpses. <laughs> that was amazing, right there. That was. Um, also, you know, Dead the movie cuts back and forth between, you know, Deadpool, you know, the current present time, and also it cuts back to him when he was Wade Wilson when he was dating his girl, girlfriend, like Vanessa, played by Marina Baccarin, I think that's her name. And let's also point out that it's not, um, you know, 
flashbacks, um, you know, in the standard sense, people who may not know about Deadpool, he is infamous for breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. And he does this all the time in it. He does it after the movie is over, and he does it uh, during the beginning saying, you know, before you get all caught up in me and my red spandex right now, <laughs> why don't you see how Deadpool came to be? Yeah, I mean, there was, I think the one of the best parts of the movie was just the opening credit scene, because we saw this awesome shot of pretty much revolving around a kind of uh, attack that Deadpool was going for when it came to these, uh, he was jumping these, this one, you know, guard. Not guard, but this uh, kind of on this highway scene we probably saw in the trailers. And we pretty much see a bunch of this funny stuff being shown. And one of them was like, you know, magazine like Ryan Reynolds on there. Then another one was like kind of a botched version of like him as Green Lantern. That got a big laugh from everybody and so on. In fact, there's one part where he said, oh man, this is so botched and that sort of thing. And then they cut to pretty much the action figure of him from like X-Men Origins Wolverine. Right. Yeah, they, uh, he even said at around that part that, um, you know, to get the budget for this movie, he had to perform fellatio on someone who rhymed with Wolverine, (laughs) and that was just hysterical. Um, He pokes fun at that all the time. Even in the opening credits, it says, you know, um, producers, it, it doesn't spell out their names, as you would expect, it says asshats. And then for writers, it says the real heroes. Right. That's but, a good, uh, good strong uh, piece of message right there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then another, back to the x Origins Wolverine, I'm really glad this Deadpool exists because the Deadpool from we got a while back, I mean, he looked more like Baraka from Mortal Kombat because he had, you know, pretty much the shaved skin and he had, like, the blades coming out of his wrist. Yeah, he was more like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's very true. And they stitched his mouth shut, which is, you know, what's the point of Deadpool if you're going to stitch his mouth shut? That's stupid. And they even made fun of that in the movie. I mean, at one point, Ajax's like, I'm going to sew your mouth shut. Then, you know, Wade's like, oh, you do not want to do that. Right. (laughs) And even at one point, they're aware of, yeah, I mean, there's only like a couple of you at the Xavier Mansion. I mean, I'm getting a feeling that Fox is only able to afford a couple of X-Men characters for this movie. That was hilarious. Yeah, he points that out when um, he <laughs> goes to um, the mansion that, um, you know, X-Men usually are at. I, it's terrible that I am drawing a blank on that right now. But in any case... Um, There are literally the same two people there that we uh, run into earlier, Colossus. Who's always played by, like, Stefan Stefan Kubrick, some foreign name. But I'm really glad this Colossus has, like, a Russian accent because you watch the earlier X-Men movies. He didn't have a Russian accent, even though Colossus did have a Russian accent. He was born in Russia. And I'm glad they decided in this more more kind of rebooted X-Men franchise, he actually does have a Russian accent. And then there's this other girl called the... Negasonic Teen Warhead, I think. Yeah, played someone called someone named Brianna Heidbrad or whatever. I mean, Deadpool perfectly describes her as, oh, it's Ridley from Alien 3. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, I so pity... Uh, the guy that pressures her into prom sex. That was. I think the funnier one was like he was. Deadpool was trying to kick Colossus in the balls, and he broke his face. Like, oh, I really pity your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was good. Oh yeah. Um, but what I liked about the movie was that it was just not just all comedy. There was also other scenes of kind of serious stuff where he actually had. It cut to his love interest Vanessa, and how there is actually some part of yeah, I really like this girl and that sort of thing. Well, it's woman, actually, and we love this woman, but also cuts to, you know, back and forth between him pretty much being Deadpool, but also shows, like, oh, man, I'm so, I, you know, don't want to see her because I look like a monster, pretty much. An avocado, that's right. Right off the Tales manuscript. 